How are you? I hope you are doing well at home. Well, I am Miss Fanny here. Today we will learn science and we will talk and discuss about sorting living things. Alright, there are over a million kinds of living things on earth that has been identified. Most of them divided into groups and subgroups based on their features or common characteristics. Yes, it is important to arrange them systematically for easy identification and study. So, in this topic, we will discuss how we classify animals, how we classify plants, and we will also discuss about fungi, bacteria. Are you ready? Let's discuss them together. Alright. Why do we need to sort living things into groups? Mm. There are too many living things in the world. Classifying living things can help in identification and study of different living things. This will help the scientists to learn more about the living things. I want to ask you, what is classifying? Yes. Every living thing including animal has features that are same or different from the others. Classifying means grouping something with same features. We can classify living things into four groups. They are plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria. Now, how can we classify animals? Let's see this diagram. Animal is one of the kingdom of living things. They are classified into insects, amphibians, birds, fish, reptiles, and mammals. Alright. When some animals have the same feature, we say they share a common characteristic. Common characteristics enable us to classify animals into groups. Animals in the same group share special characteristics that cannot be found in other groups. Let's discuss each group one by one. The first one, mammals. There are some common characteristics in mammals group. The first one, mammals have an outer body covering of hair or fur. Female mammals produce milk to feed their young. Mammals give birth to their young alive. You know, some mammals live on land and some in the sea. Horse, deer, kangaroo, elephant, fox, hamster, bear, and cow live on land, while seals, walrus, whales live in the sea. Next, birds. The common characteristics of birds are Birds have beaks instead of teeth. Birds have feathers. Birds have two wings. However, not all birds can fly. Birds lay eggs with shells. The shells protect the eggs. For you to remember, only birds have beaks and feathers. These are the special characteristics of birds. There are some birds that fly less, such as ostrich and penguin. But ostrich can run very fast, and penguin can swim very well. These are some types of beak. Do you know eagle? Yes, it has a strong sharp and hook beak so they use this kind of beak to catch animals as it flies next parrot 
it has a sharp and curved beak. This enables them to crack nuts and seeds and to tear foods. Next duck, it has a flat and broad beak. This enable them to catch fish and worms in the water. The next one, sparrow. It has a small pointed beak. This shape helps it to pick small grains. Hummingbird. Yes, it has a straw-like, long and slender beak. This shape helps it to suck nectar from flowers. So, each bird has a beak that is suitable for the type of food it eats. Next group is fish. Now let's see this picture carefully. The common characteristics of fish are Fish have fins to help them swim. So this is the fins of the fish. And fish have scales that protect their bodies. Fish have gills on both sides of their heads to help them breathe in water. And most of fish lay eggs, but some fish such as gulpies, mollies, and some sharks give birth to their young alive. Only fish have fins. Fish can be found in seawater and fresh water. See this fish. Have you ever seen this kind of fish? What is this? Yes, seahorse. This is clownfish. This one is lionfish. And this one butterfly fish. They live in seawater, while these animals, do you know what fish is this? Yes, neon tetra, guppy, bird grammy, and goldfish, they live in fresh water. Now let's discuss about insects. The common characteristics of insects are Insects' bodies are divided into three main parts Head, this is the head, thorax, and abdomen And insects have a pair of feelers on their head This is the pair of feelers Insects have six legs found on the thorax Wings are found on the thorax. This is the wings on the thorax part. And insects have a hard outer body covering to protect their soft bodies. And they also lay eggs. Alright, now the next group is reptiles. Here are the sample of reptiles. The common characteristics of reptiles are Reptiles have dry and waterproof scales Reptiles also lay eggs Reptiles are cold-blooded Do you know what the cold-blooded means? Yes, their body temperature depends on their surroundings Reptiles move into the sunny place to warm up and move into the shade to cool down. The last group is amphibians. Frogs, Sicilian, toad, newt, salamander are the examples of amphibians. The common characteristics of amphibians are I 
Amphibians can live both on land and in water. Amphibians have no scales. Their skin is moist and can absorb water and oxygen. If their skin dries out, they will die. Amphibians are cold-blooded, means their body temperature depends on their surroundings. And amphibians lay eggs in the water. Alright, now I want to tell you that animals can also be classified according to whether they have a bunny skeleton inside their bodies. Clench your fists and press the joints of your fingers with your other hand. You are feeling part of your skeleton. Animals with internal bunny skeleton are called vertebrates, such as mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Animals that do not have internal bunny skeletons are called invertebrates, such as insects, spiders, and snail. Alright, that's all about sorting. I hope you enjoy our